This is a quick demonstration of VMware vStorage APIs for array integration in EMC Unified Storage. In this demonstration, we're going to be looking at the effect of hardware accelerated copy operations. First of all, we've got to build a vSphere that supports these vStorage APIs for array integration. There's two virtual machines, and we've got two data stores we're going to use on a CX4120. If we take a look at uh, the array itself, you'll notice that it's using Unisphere, our new simplified uh, and unified NAS and SAN management platform, and you see that it actually shows you the data stores because Unisphere integrates with the vCenter APIs. Now the first part of this demonstration, we're going to do a storage vMotion operation from one data store to another without having the vStorage API enabled. Notice that we're talking about a virtual machine that's got 75 gigs worth of uh, VMDK, so it's not small. And uh, if we take a look at the advanced settings, we can see that on this particular ESX host, this hardware accelerated move, which you'll notice requires compliant hardware, is set to zero. That's not the default, but we've disabled it on purpose so we can set a baseline without the hardware assist. So without further ado, let's kick off that storage vMotion. Storage vMotion is a fantastic capability, allowing you to move a virtual machine from one storage location to another completely non-disruptively. So we're going to move it from one data store to another. We'll keep its existing uh, VMDK structure. Uh, which is in this case uh, a thin, and uh, you can take a look and see that the number of commands per second uh, from that ESX host is immediately going to spike up to very large numbers. There's a huge amount of data that's currently being copied. Uh, every single one of those commands is going from the storage array all the way up into the VM kernel and then uh, being written down onto the other path. So a lot of uh, work, heavy lifting, and traffic. We'll jump forward uh, a few minutes and uh, we'll notice the task is complete. Uh, it's now residing on a new data store. And if we take a look at how long that took, it took uh, roughly around 12 minutes for that task uh, to complete. So we moved the 75 gigs uh, from one data store to another uh, in roughly 12 minutes. Now, let's uh, take a look at what happens if we enable hardware acceleration. Um, using this vStorage API for array integration. So let's turn that feature on to 1. This uh, value can be changed uh, non-disruptively, so it doesn't require a host reboot. And uh, then let's repeat the experiment. So now, let's uh, storage vMotion uh, 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 the virtual machine again, and uh, let's see what the before and after effect is of enabling the vStorage API for array integration for hardware accelerated copy. So uh, we'll change the data store. Um, and uh, recall, it took us roughly 12 minutes uh, with the feature disabled. And off we go. Um, the first thing that's very notable is take a look at the difference in terms of the number of commands per second and the throughput, the megabytes uh, per second. You can see that instead of being in the thousands, they're in the tens. It's a huge, huge uh, reduction in the amount of IOs per second that the ESX host needs to handle. Uh, the amount of bandwidth that's being used on the network is down uh, dramatically as well. And if we take a look here, fast forwarding in time, we'll see the task completed uh, basically about four minutes earlier. So we've seen that it's faster, but uh, let's see a little more detail on, on whether or not it's actually more efficient. If we open Unisphere Analyzer, which is the simple and easy to use uh, array performance management tool, we can see what this looked like before without the offload and after with the hardware assist uh, from the array's perspective. This chart is what's called the storage processor utilization. And you can see that the distance across the base is much smaller with the offload. So here it took 12 minutes for the task to complete. And the peak here was roughly almost 80%. Um, storage vMotion is actually a very uh, heavy duty task from a storage array perspective. A lot of IO, a lot of block movement. And it's going to go as fast as it can. You can see that the base is smaller and the utilization is oh, roughly around 50% in this case. So dramatic improvement in the storage processor utilization. It's much, much more efficient. If we take a look at the amount of bandwidth, the amount of data coming in and out of the storage processor, you can see it's even more pronounced. You can see that we're driving you know, 240 megabytes per second worth of uh, ingress I.O. And here you can see that it's basically zero. This is because with the hardware assist, What's occurring is that the ESX host is just telling the storage array to move this block range from one place to another, uh, and it doesn't actually need to copy all the data off into the ESX host and then write it down in a new storage target. Much more efficient. If we take a look at it from the uh, vSphere host perspective, uh, we'll see a very similar effect. 
So opening up the vCenter performance charts, what do we see from the uh, ESX host perspective? Well, we can see the before, no hardware acceleration, it's high and spiky, and the after, with hardware acceleration, it's practically non-existent in terms of the uh, amount of I.O. that's pushing. And this has a very real net effect. Uh, so what is that net effect? The net effect of vStorage API for array integration, hardware accelerated copy, and EMC Unified Storage is it's much faster. It's about 25% faster. It reduces the amount of CPU utilization on the array and the ESX host, allowing you to do more with less. And we were able to offload 240 megabytes per second from the network. Uh, during the storage vMotion, if you didn't do that, that 240 megabytes per second would be contending with normal primary uh, VM workloads. Uh, so uh, dramatically improving the performance during these storage vMotion tasks.